Hey guys, this is Christopher here. Welcome to our job site. This is our trailer here. Um, we're gonna get this day started. Stay tuned for more. Okay, fishies, out of your dirty home and into a dirty tub for the day. And then we'll build you a new home. Nice clean water. Hey, good morning, folks. This is Ben with Tussie Landscaping, and we have my good friend Christopher here. And today I'm gonna to do something I've never done before in the history of Ben Kind. We are going to dig a pond by hand. Notice the big pile of shots. Oh my word! Oh, there's actually three of them. I thought if there was two, then it would be kind of like DJ and Christopher's thing. But there is three. <laughs> that means I'm gonna have to help. So we have a small pond here that the homeowner installed and he's having trouble with the water being clear and uh, maybe some of the berms are a little bit low and sediment washes in. That doesn't help the water clarity issue. So we're gonna be taking this out and putting in our seven by 10 Simplicity Series pond. We're going to move the biofalls back here so that the little waterfall we're gonna create is going to face those windows. And the pond will go right here with the skimmer at the opposite end and put in all new rock work, build the shelves a little bit better so that we don't have any rubber liner exposed. And that's the plan for today. We are reusing that uh, Aquascape Biofalls. We're putting in a new skimmer. That's the old style skimmer. And the new one has a basket. It's a little easier to clean out. Um, same pump goes in. This was an Aquascape kit. So there's some pretty good components here. We're gonna take out this tree, transplant it down here. All our access is gonna be from that little gate. And it's just a small, tight enough area and this pond is small enough that we just decided it makes the most sense to dig it by hand. Not sure I had any say in those decisions, but. It's why we have Christopher here. Yeah. He's our muscle no, man. No, no. <laughs> he asked me what I would give him if he could dig the whole pond in 10 minutes. I told him I'd give him 800 bucks. I could totally do that. Anyone of Ben Kind knows that, okay? I'm not even gonna get my checkbook. I'm not I'm not concerned whatsoever. <laughs> Alrighty, let's start cleaning out rocks and transforming someone else's backyard. Just look at that action. I'm always like an excavator. That's a rare sight right there, Ben using a shovel. Shh, don't tell anyone, they'll get funny ideas. Really, really rare sight right there. Ben using a shovel, haven't seen that before. Is there any way we can sub that work out? Hey, it's a heart. Yeah, we, we did this on the last one we built oh like word. this. It literally is a heart. It, it kind of just works out like that. Anyway, as you can somewhat tell maybe where Ben was digging, that's kind of the shape we're going for. And it turns out it's somewhat of a heart shape which is kind of cool. A little frog just hanging out with the fish. Look at it. Aww. Well, folks, we did it officially. Dug a pond by hand. Look at him flexing. I'm the there. hero of the shovels. He's, he is his own hero. <laughs> I couldn't find anyone else, certainly not my co workers. Anyway, 20, 24 inches. 24 inches deep, yeah. S seven, we seven. ran through mulch, slate, clay, and then some for other stuff at the bottom. Three layers of soil. Seven by 10 pond, 24 inches deep, dug by hand. Such studs. We're studs. Let's get our rock pad in here. It's 20 after 10. We're gonna rock pad in here and our liner, and we're gonna be having uh, this thing rocked in by lunchtime. Yeah, I think we probably could. We'll see. Depends how fast Christopher works over there bringing us rocks. Yeah, it's not like he really plays into the picture at all. He's just, I don't see how that's gonna affect us. Hey Ben, hey guys, this is me. This let is my, let uh, me turn off the camera This is my coworker <laughs> Ben. Uh, I just happen to be He's a creep. better worker than he is. He's creepy. I'm not a creep, okay? Let's just get He's that creepy. straight. I'm not a creep, but yeah. Anyways, one of the things you'll notice is that I dug uh, nice flat spots for my rocks to sit on. 
so that they're not sloping down into the pond. That allows us to build the pond in such a way as to never um, have any liner exposed. You don't see any liner and it allows the rock to stay in place, sturdy to step on if you want to walk through your pond. Your river gravel stays in place and so the bacteria in the pond has something to live on. It'll live on that um, river gravel and feed on the nutrients and help keep your pond clear. All right guys, I'm about ready to put on the face plate on the skimmer and I'm gonna show you guys how we do it. Here's the tools you're gonna be needing. You get your screws, your face plate, we're gonna need some aquascape, black silicone, drill with a Phillips bit, and also a knife blade with a, or a knife with a sharp blade on it. Now, the first step is getting your liner up nice and taut straight across the face of the skimmer and make sure you have a few folds below it just in case your aqua or your skimmer ever settles it won't pull on your liner now what i like to do next is run two screws up in the top corner just so i know where my holes are gives me something to start off of go nice and taut find that hole punch it now that's done i get my knife with my extremely new sharp knife blade on it and i'll cut out this skimmer There you go. Now I'll take my screws back out. Now I, have, now I have two holes to guide with and I'm ready for my silicone. Now what you wanna do is put a nice thick bead along the line of screws. Just follow the line of screws as you can see I'm doing. And make sure it's an endless bead. You don't want any areas that you skipped or there could be potential leaks there. Now you are ready to install your face plate. Now being as I put those two holes into the liner earlier, I can just line those up and it helps me guide in my liner. Something you don't have to do, but something I always do because it helps you guide in your liner nicer. It seems to go in easier that way. Let's just put that in. Make sure your liner's nice and tight. There we go. Now that got that started, push it in the rest of the way. Make sure everything's still flat and smooth. You have your extra liner down at the bottom. There we go, now we're ready to put in the screws. And when you're snugging up your screws, just tighten them till they're nice and snug. Don't over tighten them or you could potentially rip the liner or strip out your screw. There you have it. That's how your finished product should look. A little bit of loose liners down down here at the bottom, just in case that ever settles, it won't pull tight. There you have it. That's how you want to install your your skimmer faceplate. Skimmer faceplate installed with DJ 101. Okay, I told you the pond's gonna be rocked in by lunchtime. Well, really close. Slide slightly. Just have this to do yet, and um, that right there, and then it's done. I built a little waterfall over here, tried to get some nice viewing from those windows, and all of these rocks were carried in here by hand. It was so hard work. As you can tell, they're like impressive sizes too. We're the best. Okay, I didn't carry that one in. I rolled that one in. Yeah, That's rolled. close enough. For the plumbing, skimmer is over there, pump sits down on the bottom. Pumps the water over there and it skims across the surface of the pond a little bit like this. Similar. Similar that. motion. Like that, yeah. And we are gonna finish rocking this in, getting some gravel in there, and start cleaning this mess up. Look what I have here. It's froggy froggy. In the creature. middle of December. That's pretty cool. I'm gonna let go. Hey, froggy, come back. <laughs> the poor thing. Okay, Froggy. 
We'll let him go in your new home. There he goes. Okay, it is 2.04 and look what's happening. Pond's filling up. That's a good day. Came in here, tore out an old pond, excavated by shovel the new pond, rocked it in, filling up the pond with water and this is going super well. We might even have an early day here. Maybe, but I wouldn't say it. Now you jinxed it. Now oh man, I should have never said it. I can't wait to let the fish go. You can't even see them, but they're going to love it in there. They're in there somewhere. Fishy number two. What am I gonna come up with? Oh, oh, no, oh I have three of them. Now, this is a nice fish. I like this orange one. Oh, that's my favorite one. There you go, fishies. That one's fat. How many is that? Three? Four. Four. Five. Five. They always swim all the way to the bottom. They can swim underneath that fish cave. Should be one more in here. What? Another frog? I'm gonna sit him on this edge and let him jump in. He didn't want to sit. Look at him swimming in the top now. So we start to pump now? Yeah, that's. That's cool. That makes a real deep noise. And water trickling over here. I didn't think I'd have water all the way out on this point. That's cool. Wish I had a little bit more coming over here. I probably cut some of that off with a paver saw. I'd like to see a little bit less here. Although that's cool. That's pretty loud. That is loud. Well done, guys. High five. Me first. Eh. Okay, okay, now three guys. Three, two, one, go. That, that was weird. <laughs> My bad. <laughs> that never works out very well. Okay, do you think that you would like to have a water feature, but don't have the space or the financing to allow it? Maybe we just built your solution. This is a small pond. It's a seven by 10. It doesn't have a stream, but it does have a waterfall. It's just a, a waterfall out of the biofalls. As you saw today, it pretty much can be built with very tight access. Most of it can be done by hand. The rocks aren't super huge, but it does provide the sound of water, the tranquility of a pond. You're able to have some fish. It just allows you to live the water gardener's dream. And it's functional, it's low maintenance, and these particular packages are not very expensive. These are DJ and I's passion. We love, maybe not just this size, but we love building water features. And this was just a super fun build. Everything went smoothly. I like building them in these spaces. It's perfect. They have a big window there where they can see them. It's tucked up right close to the house where they're able to enjoy it from the inside and from the outside. I like to be able to bring a patio up to the side so that you can really interact with them. But in this case, they have these neat little trills going through here and they draw wildlife. We just, uh, he was showing us pictures of the old pond that he had in here. There was a couple of bears in here and he's planted a bunch of uh, plants around here that attract the birds. There's a couple chickadees sitting there watching us build. We found two frogs. It's, it's what I love to do. I love to interact with nature and bring this to life in someone's backyard. So thanks for following along. And um, if you would like to help out the channel, please consider subscribing and liking the video and you'll be able to see some of the future projects we do. Until then, stay safe. See you in the next one.